Hi, welcome back to Merchant Performance. I'm Mike behind the camera, is Jay. And today we brought some of the cars, including stuff from AC Snitzer and ourselves, down to the showroom here with Berry BMW. So thank you very much, Tony, and thank you very much for Charlie for helping us organize this. We had a number of new and old AC Snitzer cars, and then behind me, some of the speed vault Jay's probably going to overlay or show you in a minute, is some of the cars we had on display. We brought all ours down, and of course, with some of the stuff that Tony and Charlie have actually got here with their demo cars. It's been a fantastic day. Great people, great coffee, great vibes. We're going to be doing the same again next year. So enjoy the B-Roll. We look forward to seeing you, time, seeing you again very soon. What's also really good about AC Snitzer, they have a really good loyal fan base going back from E36, in fact, some E30s, and this customer. The customer behind me is actually on um, Instagram, is AC Snitzer Collection. I believe he has 11 AC Snitzer cars, and he's brought this one down. I'm sure Jay's already done some B-roll. Alex's been out for a test drive on it, and it is amazing. It's a stunning E92, and every option that was available from AC Snitzer at the time has been fitted to this car. iDrive controller, carbon dashboard, exhaust, carbon spoilers, it's stunning. Enjoy the B-roll on this one. I would love to get one of these on the fleet. So behind me, as you can see, we grabbed one of the cars. This is the car that the Germans, bless them, brought all the way over for this event. So thank you very much, Mario, and thank you very much, Martin. What a car to bring over. Behind me is the new ACS5, which is based on the 550E. So it is a hybrid, so it's the B48 third generation engine with a plug-in tuning package. Excuse me, from AC Snitzer. And as you can see by the number plate, 552 horsepower now, so it's a pretty quick car. This fills that middle gap from an M Lite to the M5. So what's it like to drive? Not sure, but we'll try and get some impressions of it in another vlog very soon. What I have been told, it is frighteningly quick when it's on EcoBoost, or EBoost as well. So the car is on the bi-colour wheels. AC Snitzer are quite famous for doing this. So one side it has the bi-colour black and silver wheels, and the other side it has the black. And would you believe that they're actually 21 inch? They look normal size now. It's hard to believe that a 21 inch wheel nowadays looks right on the car. 
Lower front valance paint in the gloss black, side skirts, uh, roof spoiler also this one painted gloss black and of course the mid spoiler on the boot lid in the blue. Asus Nitsa protection package. Looks absolutely perfect on the car. Really nice, very sort of tailored to the car. Looks that sort of aggressive look. And also this car has the heritage stripe down one side. As you can see, it's a real nice theme. I'm a big fan, I'm glad they're bringing it back. They did say they did try and bring it back on some of the F-Series cars, but the car just didn't have the same sort of shoulder line as the E-Series. So it's nice to see them bringing it back on the G-Series cars. So quick bit of B-roll this car and let us know what you think of the new ACS5.